guys welcome back to my channel today we're taking a look at the ipod classic the reasons why i like it and maybe why you should pick one up too so i have in front of me the ipod classic fifth generation this is a really nice device even considering it is over a decade old um the user interface on this is so easy to uh, navigate and use like anyone who's even someone who's had no experience with this could just pick it up and figure out how to use it out, use it up, use it instantly. Um, so this is able to do music, photos, videos, you can play some games. It's got different settings in here like shuffle songs, screen brightness, um, and a few other things too. Another reason why I like this is because it's a single purpose device. When you're listening to music on this, you're not getting distracted by like Facebook notifications or something else popping up on TikTok or yeah, just no distractions. It's just you and your music. And speaking of music, the audio quality on this is literally better than the audio quality you get on um, pretty much every single phone these days. And that's because it uses a high quality Wolfson DAC. Um, so if you have this with a good set of headphones, you'll be getting a better audio experience than pretty much any new smartphone these days. Another reason why I like it is when you have music on your iPod, it's like you own your music. One of my biggest complaints with like Spotify is it's basically a music rental service. Like you don't pay your bill. You get cut off. You're just renting the music month by month. But when you have a iPod, when you have your iPod, and you got your songs loaded up on here, it's like you get a sense of ownership over your songs. And this is your music device, and these are your songs on it. And it's like a, a physical thing you can hold in your hands. Another reason why you might want to pick this this up is for collector's item purposes because these are getting pretty hard to find and prices of these just seem to be going up. They are pretty iconic and even, yeah, even if you pick one up and put it on like a display shelf, it looks cool and it's a good talking piece. Also with these iPods, there's a variety of mods you can do. So you can actually upgrade your internal storage um, to a SSD um, using a adapter kit which will connect a memory card an sd card and you can replace the uh spinning hard drive with that which is much more modern and faster much more reliable like if you drop this your hard drive won't break and also you can upgrade the battery on it to a battery that i think is like nearly triple the size of what's in this and if you have that battery coupled with the um, SSD, you can actually increase the battery life on this substantially, like you can almost get a week straight just playing non-stop music on it because it becomes so efficient um, because it's not running this internal spinning hard drive that it comes with. And you can upgrade the um, storage to like over a terabyte, but I wouldn't recommend that because it starts to slow the device down when it has to load a terabyte worth of songs all at once on here. So if you went that way, I'd probably recommend going no more than like 256 gigs. Um, I'd probably go, like me personally, I'll go 128 gigs because that seems to be a sweet, sweet spot. And uh, um, 128 gig cards are pretty cheap these days. Mm -hmm. 